Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Randy C. French, and I want to talk to you about Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. Okay. Why did Jesus suffer? Jesus suffered because he wanted to atone for our sins and to pay or to purchase for us eternal life by his blood. That's why Jesus suffered. The chief sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ is called the Lord's Passion or the Passion of Christ. <laughs> and the Passion of Christ consists of, number one, His going on His to the garden and sweating blood in the garden. That's number one. Number two is being scourged between the pillars and being crowned with the thorns. Number three is the carrying of his cross, his crucifixion, and his death between two thieves. This is all called the Passion of Christ. These are the chief sufferings of Christ. Jesus suffered much for us. He died for our sins, praise the Lord, that we could be saved, praise the Lord. All right, the carrying of the cross from Pilate's Hall to the, to the place where he was crucified at the Calvary, Mount Calvary. This is usually looked upon the church as the stations of the cross. And, and it, something that the church has always had great devotion to. And it's basically celebrating the journey that Jesus was going on to the cross. Because he's carrying the cross to be crucified. That's what I mean. So the church has great devotion to the Stations of the Cross. Jesus died on Good Friday. It's called Good Friday because we are saved from our sins and from hell. And a great good was done for us on Jesus' behalf. Praise the Lord for Good Friday. should be a great time that we celebrate. That's why we call it good. Good Friday. Our Savior died on Mount Calvary. Mount Calvary is a place just outside Jerusalem. And it was used to really uh, execute criminals. But <laughs> now today, because of... St. Helen, she built a church because she looked for the place of where Jesus was actually crucified and found the cross, and she made the church of the Holy Sepulcher. This is a place that you can go to Jerusalem today. It's a church of the Holy Sepulcher, and you can see part of the cross. You can see the place where Jesus was crucified. And it's a great place to go to if you want to just see what, where Jesus was crucified and part of the cross that he carried. It's called the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. You can see it today. Anyways, so anyways, Jesus suffered under Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and buried. This is what the church always taught. This is what we believe. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. God bless you and peace to you always.